Today on Commonly Good MTG, we're keeping up on the tribal theme by playing a mono white angel deck. Is this deck possibly my magnum opus? Stay tuned to find out. Hello and welcome to Uncommonly Good MTG. I'm your host, yours eternally in Magic the Gathering Brotherhood, Dr. Yukon Socket. Yes, thank you. Film before live studio audience. Thank you so much. Yukon Socket. Word to your mama. So I am broadcasting to you today from my secret underground headquarters, and I am bringing to you a deck of my own creation. Is this really of my own creation? I don't remember where I got it from, so yes, totally, of my own creation. And I decided to title it Angel Might Tribal. <clears throat> All right, so let's take a look at the cards. Okay, so ultimately this is the third in my tribal cycle of, of decks that I'm trying to do this week. Uh, let's see, we've had, what have we had so far? We had uh, goblins and, man, oh, I can't remember what I did the day before after that. Uh, something else, and now we've got angels. Angels. And uh, in this case, there's a couple of non-angel cards in there, but, you know, you got to make certain allowances. And uh, it worked out very well with these guys as it is. And the weird thing is Might snuck in here. So I, I had to give him enough credit. I had to give him call this an Angel Might Tribal. So uh, let's take a look at what's in the deck. And I'll, I'll, I'll point out the highlights here. Lay down arms, kills creatures. Luminar Veteran, you get points every time a creature comes into play. And then when it dies, you can bring it back in, at which point you get points every time a, uh, when your creature leaves the battlefield. So, coming and going right there. Uh, Vicious Farmhand will get you another planes. Giada will help you put out other angels and give them plus one, plus one counter. Ossification pins down creatures. White Sun's Twilight will put out a bunch of mites and potentially wipe the board. If you got enough, you bump it out one time and gain you life. Charge of the Mites will do damage equals number of creatures you control or put out Mites. We seem to be putting out a lot of Mites for an Angel deck. There's a good reason. It's called Sarah Redeemer. We'll get to her. Inspired Angel Overseer will come out and give you a card and draw, draw a card and give you a life. Basilica Shepherd will come out and put out two Mites. This is really where the extra Mite kind of came into, the, into effect. And Sarah Redeemer. This is the combo I really want to play with Sarah Redeemer and Basilica Shepherd. Because Sir Redeemer says that whenever another creature with power two or less enters the battlefield under your control, you put two plus one plus one counters on it. So that means that when you play Basilica Shepherd and it puts out the two mites, that they don't come out as one ones, they come out as three threes. And so therefore, she will make all your little dudes really strong. And three threes are nothing to sneeze at. Those are great. But so because of that, that means that Inspiring Overseer comes out as a, as a four three that other Sarah Redeemers would come out as four sixes or something. I mean, it's just nuts. All of these mites come out as three threes. Suddenly, we've got a huge might army of three threes, which is fantastic. So, and then lastly, we've got Seal Seraph, who can be a five four. It's probably going to be a three three, but does give your choice of Flying Vigilant or Lifelink to uh, one other creature or itself uh, uh, at the beginning of your combat. Roadside Reliquary can draw you one or two cards, potentially, depending upon what you already got out. This thing can do damage to attacking or blocking creatures. So that's everything we're going on. We're just hoping to, like, ramp our way up into some decent big-time uh, angels and then try to keep the Sarah Redeemer out so that she can make anything else that comes out afterwards big and buff. That's our game. Let's go crush some skulls. But first, let's say our prayers. Dear Black King Toxro, who lives within the dark chambers of my heart, please bless us as we attempt to crush our enemies, see them driven before us, and hear the lamentation of the women. 
Arpenicus Hellraiser. Almost like Hellraisin. That would be a better name. One, two. Let's keep it. Alright, let's just give him a bunch of guys to kill. Touch the precious. Can't stop touching the precious. I, you brought it. Like you can't stop yourself. Like You've been chewing on it. Uh, what are we getting rid of here? Uh, another Luminarch veteran. Two. Let's put a little farmland. I'll attack. I don't care, man. We'll trade off. Get rid of that beetle. If I were you, I just, I'd do it, definitely. All right, so we have three man on the next turn. We're about to lose something else. What are we going to give up on here? Uh, these two are too awesome. I need the mana to get there, though. I'm going to get rid of lay down the arms. That sucks, but it's not where I want to go. Everything else is where I want to go. Let's put it that way. All right, Giada. I'll attack. Next turn, I could put down the Redeemer. He's not willing to give up the Virus Beetle for a farmhand? That's crazy. Oh, he's going green. He's got Golgari going on here, too. Interesting. Touch the precious. Don't fight though. I need I need Jada around. Oh, you jerk! All right, so can't play any of my dudes. Well, just put these guys out instead. I'll attack. Go get him, farmhand. All right, come on. I need to get out. I need five mana. I need my fifth. All right. Give me my fifth mana. Come on. You can do it, Redeemer. Or Overseer. There we go. Next turn, huh? We just got to keep that uh, virus beetle off our back for a little bit here. There goes another fight. Back up to 20. Down to 15. All right. And that's just going to be nothing but mana, apparently. Alright, no attacks. I just need to keep chumping me chumperson back. Alright, here's my big move. Come on, don't kill it. There we go. Oh, that's actually a pretty sweet. I gotta do this. 3-3s. Three threes. Yeah! Of course, I can't block at all. But now he's going to start to panic a little bit. He's, he's, oh, crap. Look at that. We got like uh, 11 points of damage coming at him. Hmm. He's going to run out of those pretty soon. He's got to. I'll just ossify the virus beetle here on the next turn. It'll be great. And I can play the Redeemer.
Nice and strong. There we go. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I can just attack uh, these two. All done. Suck it, suckerfish. Victory. And we're playing against Turtle Terror. Turtle Terror. Turtle Terror. Turtle Terror. Uh, keep it. I would hope I pick up a third mana and a fourth and a fifth and potentially even a seventh. But once I get Sarah Redeemer out, I'll play White Sun Twilight for whatever I got. Oh, I am just meant to pin things down, apparently. Black. This guy's got uh, the ability for even more than black, though. What did I say? We're looking at Jund here. Jund. Yeah, there's green. Maybe a little red will come up later or sooner. Uh, I need a mana, and I don't really care about him, so we'll just bang. Just keep going. And another one. He's got a lot of mana. He's got all the mana I don't have. Oh, vigilance. Totally. That's what we need. Let's see. This guy I cannot pay for uppercase letters. He does not have a pet. He just invested it all into this super cool looking sleeve for his cards. You're lucky I don't have any mana. And then you're just putting out little jerks that don't do anything. Vigilance, I said. Until the end of the turn. There's somebody ossification is good for. And a mana. Beautiful. You don't have any mana. Oh, you do have two mana, though. You got those two dudes. I'm not worried about attackers, so lifelink is the way to go. I'll attack. All right, so we've got four. I need a fifth mana. We got Sarah Redeemer. Uh, I'll take care of Planeswalkers, good. He's just going to pin Steel Seraph to the wall. That would be a bit mana. No, he's just going to destroy target artifact. Eh. There's number five. Okay, I'm going to wait on Mites. I'm going to wait on a lot of stuff. I just got to get the Redeemer out. Hopefully, once I get the Redeemer out, we can keep the Redeemer out. I have no protection for any of these cards, by the way. I was hoping that all of the destructions of stuff that he's done so far means less destruction for my late game stuff.
All right, Sarah Redeemer. Kane okay, thinks that's okay. She's pretty weak. There's nothing much going on there. Ah, uh, you're the one that pins him down as artifacts. Well, that's it. My entire game's gone to hell. What do I got here? Four, three, four, five, six, seven now. This wipe out planeswalkers too. All other creatures, huh? Alright, so we just have to ossify. That one. Take the damage like a sucker. Wipe the board. I'm not too worried. You'll all be dead. I bet there's not a facility for unartifacting, untreasuring our dudes. No, don't destroy my poor artifact. Oh, you get rid of that? That's cool. Yeah, bring your guys back. Yes! Perfect. Of course, then your dragon's going to be able to drag in the dragon, doesn't he? All right, the game's entirely in your hands at this point. No problems. You're totally going to win. And the game flips. Now, you having that dragon back is pretty good for you, though. But you'll be able to bring one dude back. I guess it would be the bloated Austin Pfeffer. That guy, okay. Mm, kind of needed to have him out there. What is this? Uh, eight? I don't have eight. Got one, five, six, seven. Eight. All right, that guy's gone, and we're racing in. Block one. Go right ahead. All right, so I got six left. You want to tap your guy? This guy's able to bring a guy back from the graveyard every turn. All right, whatever. We're going to do this. Let's go ahead and do pull one of these two. Let's see what we got going on. Nice. Let's pull this one off. And I'll win. All right, so we got... He's going after the poison because that's the problem. Got him up to eight. We got the game next turn. As long as he can't put out... Uh, there we go. That's how we win it. Touchdown, Lava Bears. Well, let's see. We are playing against Poelski. Poelski. Three mana. I like that. 
Alice is a weird play for an angel deck, but all right. Let's take it. Keep. Nice and slow so far. Playing against Esper, that's not cool. You just have to play against counter spells. And there we are hovering, wondering if he wants to counter it or not. He lets it go. Uh, the one behind, the one in the front is my favorite. Oh, are we just playing like Toxic? Demir? It's not. This is Esper. Toxic Esper. Well, I got five mana, so if I can keep my dudes alive, I got a great hand at this point. I, I know I can't keep them alive. It's not going to happen that way, but I just got to go for it. All right, and let's go in for one. And he just kills it. All right, good for you, man. Four, we're going to put this guy out. In turn. I don't, yeah, I don't think he doesn't even have creatures because you don't need it. Demir can play the poison deck without creatures. All right, here's five. We'll go for the Redeemer. Uh, we haven't seen white. I don't even know why he's got that in there. All right, yeah, we're being pretty much just picked apart. Uh, I'll go for the next five here. Yeah, with the uh, Redeemer, it makes these mites so much better. We actually get to do something. Let's charge in for the attack. Yeah, dude, you gotta have to like, you know, push your button or something. I was debating whether or not I needed to save charge of the mites as a removal. But at this point, I better just use it. But I'll the ambition. Just gonna flood it out. Take the action, pull another land. Put it out. And the Luminarch. I should have put him out first. It's not like we're really worried about damage. I could be dead on this turn. Five's not that hard for him to get to with all the cards in his hand. What do I got? I got four toxic guys. Otherwise, I'm going to be dealing three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine points of damage. I just got to sit here and just wait. Uh, 
All right, let's on for the attack. What is this deal? All right, Polsky, come on, my man. It should be too difficult. Just everything's attacking. There we go. What else am I going to be able to get? I got tons of stuff. I got a land. All right, whatever. I'm just going to let it go. Okay, and will I just die this turn? Quite possibly. I'm up to eight. There is no way I'm not going to be dead on the next turn. On his turn, at this point. Two, two poison with a handful of cards. He's got it. Yeah. And that's the end of it. Defeat. All right, playing against WGN Reaper. No, WNG Reaper. Deep. All right, number two. And we're just going to go in for the attack. Conniving fool. All right, three, we shall ossify. All in for one. We're going to be at four. We have five mana. Another one, huh? Where are my angels? Come on, deck, provide. I was here in a six. Wipe the board if I just do something. I was gonna attack. Apparently he doesn't care. All right, we're cool. And we're done. Go get him, Phantom. One, two, three, four, five. All right, if we get up one more mana, we'll be able to wipe the board. Or now we could just put out four dudes. He just has a lot of those guys, doesn't he? All right, where's our seventh? going for the attack. At this point, I don't care. That's it. Wipe out poor Giada. Alright, so he's got six mana. I got seven. Seven is a magic number for most things out there. It's got another stupid opponent. Looks like he's just stuck spinning around in the same dumb creatures.
We're just gonna go for it. I don't wanna dick around too much. Alright, he's got a lot of cards in his hands. He tapped it. All right, let's pop this so we can draw. I get two cards out of the deal. Interesting. Pull another land, because why not? All attack, which will kill that angel if he blocks. Is that what he really wants to do? No, he doesn't, apparently. Even though that means I got lethal on the next turn. He's really... Eyeballing that farm hand. All right, you can survive an attack by vicious toxic might. All right, deck, come on, give me something good. Not a land, please. That's actually pretty good. All right, the great champion of the faith is going to be the ambitious farman. Oh, how disappointing. All right, so he's going to block a toxic guy. He's at nine. He's definitely dead next turn, unless he could put out uh, three more blockers. Hey, you got one choice there, my friend, Mr. Reaper. You might as well go for the attack. I, don't know, I think you got it. Nope. You, you still have to get one more guy out there. And we win. Suck it, Suckerfish. And we're playing against Claymore. Alright, Jada into Inspiring Overseer. I am inspired by your oversight. Yeah, apparently not. Draw a card, get a life. All that just to spite Kato. Eh. He's desperate for another card. He's willing to give something up. Let's go, Claymore. I see you couldn't afford capital letters in your name. Are you trying to play, uh, you can't be trying to be playing a Demir Poison deck, are you?
He just wanted to know who he could kill to protect his poor, poor Kato. Yeah, he's playing poison. He's not really investing a lot in creatures. Even threw it away. All right, let's pop that up. All in for the attack. And go for it. What's your defense this time? I'm just going to go for this. I'm going to get that five, six. I can do four of these. Still messing around with Jerk Kato. Cliff right, right there. Pick yourself. See that you don't like what you got going on. Things aren't coming fast to you here. Yeah, you're trying to poison me. All right. Uh, next to combat. Right there. All in. And four more. All right, so unless you could do six points of poison this turn, I think I got it. That's a lot of cards in your hand. And we win. Boom, boom. Goes the room. All right, so here we are with our uh, Angel Might Tribal deck, and uh, it has been really good. I was actually quite surprised. So, who was the hero of this deck? And uh, let's take a look at that, try to figure out. This is where I always stall out and say, meh, 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 meh. Um, I think it was Charge of the Mites. Here's my deal, is that with this deck, the key to it is Sarah Redeemer. Getting her out and then being able to play all your dudes and getting everything out with two plus one plus one counters on it is so incredible. But you can never keep it alive. Everybody's always shooting for Sarah Redeemer. I mean, it's five mana. The cost alone says you cannot let this card stay out. They always just try to find ways of killing it as quickly as possible. They wipe the board. They just start shooting. They bounce it back to your hand. Whatever, right? I don't know. So um, the Charge of the Mites is the utility card that really provides a lot of value for its price. To be able to take out, you know, you can deal damage equal to the number of creatures you control to a creature of Planeswalker or put out two Mites. I kind of wish it was or put out Mites equal to the number of creatures you control. That would be cool, but uh, maybe that's a little too much. 
Yeah, everything else on here is really good. It all works out well together. I'm not so sure about lay down arms. Everybody plays with it. I always, if I do play with it, it's only because everybody else does. I still don't feel it myself. I feel like it's limited and giving people three points of life just kind of sucks. Seems like there's better things to do. Like, um, the just, what is it? Uh, exile target creature or planeswalker, or give them a clue or something. Maybe that's a destroy. I have to go back and take a look. It costs a little bit extra, like one more. Big deal, right? Kind of favor that one a little bit better. I'm willing to give them a clue. They have to pay for it rather than just drawing a card as it is. <clears throat> so this thing's got a little bit of non-angel in it, as in, you know, Ambitious Farmhand and Luminarch of Veteran. But other than that, it's pretty much, if it's a, if it's a creature, it's angel. Angel, 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 angel. So I'm willing to call this an angel deck. The weird part is it's also a might deck between White Sun's Twilight and Charge of the Mites and the Basilica Shepherd. You're throwing out mites like crazy. So it ends up being like this weird might deck instead. It's a strange, strange thing. And sometimes you don't get angels at all. I don't know how that happens. And it's just you're just playing with mites. It's a weird deck that way sometimes. All right, so uh, yeah, there was my hero. My MVP was Charge of the Mites in an Angel deck. Was this deck competitive? Uh, I got it at a 60% win rate out of 10 games played. So yeah, I think this is, I mean, just the way it feels when I play it, it feels like a competitive deck. Uh, it's pretty much as good as anything I've seen off the Platinum Mythic list. I think it's great. Number two, was this deck fun? And I did enjoy it. I, I, I love a good Angel deck. Um, these angels, they don't have some of the same power that a lot of the angel decks seem to have, but this one seems to be focused a lot on what Sarah Redeemer is capable of doing, which is passing out those plus two counters for each little creature you put out. And then the, uh, the whole idea of putting out little creatures after the fact, that is a lot of power. Thing is, there's just delays in there. So it tends to slow things down a little bit, but still it is lots of fun when you can make it happen. And even up to that point, you got a nice uh ramp as they say with going from uh you know from two one two three four i guess we don't have fours one two three five yeah that that explains a lot trying to jump up to five sometimes is hard but there's a uh, you know 20 what is it 24 lands and then the ambitious farmhand really bridges that gap getting you in, into what, what gets you up to that five as quickly as possible and then you, I didn't find it to be that hard to play Steel Surf for six. The only bad part is that as soon as it became six, it became a lot easier to kill because you got that was Destroy Evil card that, that takes care of things with four toughness. It was almost better bringing this out as a 3-3. Three, three. Yeah. All right. Uh, so, yeah, it was a fun deck. Lastly, was it interesting? And yes, it was. I think Sarah Redeemer is an underused card. I think she is fantastic. <laughs> and bundled together with so many other creatures that have power of two or less. I mean, what are we talking about? It's like 90% of our, desk here, our deck here. All of the Mites, all of the Mites from right here. Inspiring Overseer, Giada, Ambitious Farmhand, Luminarch Veteran. Everything popped out from there right there. She just makes them space awesome. You get out two of those, they get even better. She even does other copies of herself. Makes them way awesome there too. I just noticed her big old hammer, just like uh, the dude from Guardians of the Galaxy. <clears throat> Anyways, so there you go. This is competitive. It is fun. It is interesting, which makes it into an A-plus deck. If, or let me say this correctly, I highly recommend you pick this one up, should you have the means. That's all for now. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. From all of us here in the underground secret headquarters of Uncommonly Good MTG, have a great day. In the words of my people, be excellent to each other and party on, dudes.